What's up, folks? How y'all doing? Welcome to Budget Tech 13 Podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Happy Monday to you. Um, I think I'm going to start doing this, you know, um, having the podcast on Monday, you know, along with, you know, Tech Report, along with, um, you know, the app review and maybe a couple other things. I'm going to, and I think the theme for Monday will be Mobile Monday. Um, yeah, because um, um, I think it worked. So I'm going to give that a shot, give that a try, see how things uh, progress, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, this week on the podcast, man, um, you know, we're still talking about Pokemon Go. Why are we still talking about Pokemon Go? But here it is. Pokemon Go boosts sales of portable device charges. Pokemon Go. We still, th- man, we beating this horse to death, aren't we? <laughs> but um, yeah, Pokemon Go boosts sales of portable device chargers, which is cool, cool, understandable. You know, I mean, yeah, should do something. Besides, make me angry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, here goes some top stories of the day. Um. Twitter is to sublease out 30% of San Francisco headquarters. I guess Twitter is hard up for some money. That's the only reason why I lease out a room in my house. I was hard up for some money. <laughs> and, um, oh wow, this is big. Network of 330,000 cash registers are hacked. And from what I understand, they were hacked by a... Uh, um, Russian um, criminal organization, you know, so uh, that's kind of crazy, man, kind of crazy. What else is going on in the news? Oh, man, um, the next iPhone will have dual cameras. Now, check this out. My wife got a, a, a new Android phone about a week ago two weeks ago um, and it has dual cameras I read about dual cameras on on smartphones a couple of years ago and I'm still trying to figure out why 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 do you need dual cameras on the phone uh, I mean can somebody help me out yeah I'm probably gonna go and research again <laughs> research this again Look it up and have people give me the specs and tell me why I, you know what, I still won't, won't, won't know because I don't, I I don't know, maybe it's me, you know. Oh man, more Pokemon, more Pokemon Go news. Iran has banned Pokemon Go. So, now you're going to have hundreds and thousands of people crossing the border into other countries that may be a little worse than yours, but they can go there and play Pokemon Go. I am sorry, my fellow Iranians, that your government is banning Pokemon Go. You, they're keeping you guys from... The Pokemon Go experience. Dag nabbit. Come on, America. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And, um, there's a meteor shower this week. Later this week. That is supposed to be the bomb. That is supposed to be out of this world. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on checking it out myself. Uh, hey, if you don't have cable and you, you want to watch the Olympics, here are three ways that you can watch the Olympics if you don't have cable. Um, NBC, NBCOlympics.com, they're, they're going to be streaming live events. Um, also, uh, 
they have a NBC Sports app for Android, iOS, and Windows devices, as well as Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Roku. And also, number two, PlayStation View. Now, you can get PlayStation View for $29.99 to $44.99 monthly fee. Um, you can watch the events on PlayStation View, which is a uh, streaming service on the uh, PlayStation 4. Okay. Um, and the last and final way is another streaming option. It's the Sling TV. You can check it out on Sling TV. I think I will be uh, checking out some of the Olympic events, um, you know, so uh, right off the bat, I'm going to be uh, checking out the uh, uh, swimming competitions, <laughs> yeah, because I don't think I can watch uh, any of the uh, Ever since dude cracked his leg, man, I can't watch that. Uh, can't watch that. Hey, check this out. Um, get Windows 10 in touch with your Android phone. Um, the free upgrade to Microsoft operating system that came out last week, and it includes some really cool features. Uh, the most surprising one benefit mobile devices running another company's operating system. Yeah, you can um, have your Android phone's notifications show up in the Action Center list of notices and alerts that pops up from the bottom right corner of the screen. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And also, um, Cortana. You can get Cortana for Android. Man, Cortana... Cortana's my girl, man. Love Cortana. Me and Siri, me and Siri ain't get along, man. Siri is too temperamental, you know. But Cortana, yeah, she was like, yeah, that baby, what's up? And I'm like, yeah, Cortana. <laughs> Tell me what how the weather is outside. Siri wanna be all. It's 47 degrees. I'm like, Siri, I ain't asking you all that. I was just asking, you know, if it was raining or not. But Siri wanna be temperamental. Man. She had a little attitude for Cortana. That's a girl. She was sweet. You know what I'm saying? And what's up with OK Google? There's nothing sexy about that. OK Google. OK Google. Let me stop before my phone. Bleep, bleep. <laughs> yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, there was nothing sexy about that. Um, hate it. OK Google, man. Hate it. OK Google. Yeah, folks, um, you know, that's it for the news for today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Come on back. We'll do it again next Monday. You know what I'm saying? And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumb it down. Also, people, 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 I love, love comments. I don't care if they're good, bad, whatever. Please comment, like, and share this video, alright? Love, peace, and chicken grease, folks. I'm out. Have a blessed Monday, and have a wonderful week.